So welcome back to the video. In this video, we are going to see array list in collections. I am Professor Dattatre Kanmal, working in Walsh Institute of Technology, Solapur. So, what we are going to see at the end of the course, student will be able to describe array list along with various methods. Array list is a collection in that we have various methods. So, student will be able to describe all those methods. Second write a program using array list so student will be able to write a simple program using array list we can write n number of programs using array list we will see some simple approaches to write array list okay so this is the motivation behind it so to describe the array list and to write a program using array list array list what is array list array list is similar to array but there is a slight difference between array and array list in array we know that the size is fixed Whereas in array list, we can increase the size as and when required. That is, array list grows dynamically on the elements. So as elements are inserted, array list size will be increased. And as number of elements are decreased, the size decreases. So there is a variation in it. So namespace is system.collections. Using system.collections is the namespace under which array list is listed. Okay. And we don't need to specify the size initially. So even if you specify, it doesn't matter. So we can even do that, but uh, there is no meaning for it. Next, array list adjusts the capacity of the array as the number of elements increases or decreases. As I said, during runtime, if you want to insert 100 elements and you have defined the size as 20, so those 100 elements can be inserted using array list. They, it will not say that size is full. It will grow its size dynamically. Even you reduce number of elements, the size will get adjusted to the uh, array list size. Size is calculated based on total number of elements present in the array list. So let's say I have defined the size as 20 and I have in inserted only 10 elements. So size of array list is not 20, it is 10. So size is basically number of elements inserted into the array list. So this has to be very clear. Okay. I hope uh, this slide gives a basic introduction about array list. Now, what are the steps to create an array list? We have a variety of ways to create an array list. First, let us check. It's a simple way array list al equal to new array list. Here, array list is the class name, al is the object name, equal to new array list again the class name. So, this new array list object is created and the name of that object is AL. Here we are giving it as AL. You can give anything. So this is a simple way to create a array list. Another way, here we will specify the size. Array list AL equal to new array list 20. So, uh, so it's up to you whether to give it or not. So as I said, it doesn't matter. So basically we can give it. There, there is no error and no wrong with it. Array list with some other collections by passing collections in the constructor. So, array list can also take some other collection object as well. So, once I create an array list AL, there are two array lists. Suppose there are AL1 and AL2. In AL2, I can pass AL1 array list as it is. Let's say AL1 is having 10 elements and AL2 is having 5 elements. So, if I copy AL1 into AL2, AL2 will become size of 15. So I can have this privilege to copy all array list into the uh, another array list. Okay. Now let us have a simple outlook of how to write a program using uh, this array list. So for this demo, I'll be using sharp develop. So come to sharp develop. This is already open. So I will close this particular uh, project. I don't require this. Let us close. Let us begin from start. So file, new, we'll go down to solution, click on console and give the file name. What will be the file name? Let's give collection demo. I have given it as collection demo. Okay. Create. The file will be created collection demo. This is a dot uh, C sharp file. Okay. And this by default code comes, this is comment when it is created, not required, I'll delete it. 
just for avoiding confusion you can keep it as it is okay now namespace collection demo so namespace is created by the file name okay inside it we have a class program that is uh, fixed so class program will be there inside it we have a main program public static void main string args so this is standard way after it we can begin our program inside main okay let us uh, try to execute this simple program which already automatically given by c sharp if i execute it i am getting the output as hello world press any key to continue so what exactly this program is doing console dot write line displays on the console and read line uh, will wait till i press a key read key okay so i will remove this and we will start with array list okay so as i said array list header for array list first of all will let us add namespace so array list is using system dot collections this header file is required using system dot collection namespace we call it as namespace in c sharp so array list al equal to new array list i will keep it blank okay array list is created now if i want to insert element into array list that can be done using different methods inside array list we will see down to the meta methods later so array list add let let's say i want to add 10 10 is added array list dot add let's say i want to add 20 20 will get added array list dot add array list dot add let's say i want to add 15 okay now if i want to check whether they do are inserted correctly or not i will use a for each loop for this for each loop says that variable element in collection so what is a variable type here we know that it is of type integer element in collection which collection what is object here al so make it al okay i hope you are following now if i want to display all the elements in array list i will simply write a console dot write line and give element as a object int element in al will scroll or down all the elements in array list okay it looks fine now if you can see the output 10 20 15 it is giving me the right output okay this way i can write a program using array list similarly as i said if i want to mention some size let's say i'll make the size as 20 and try to execute it it doesn't matter so giving me the same output even if you mention or don't mention it is not changing the output let's say i will give the size as 2 and we know that we are inserting three elements let's see whether it will give an error it is working fine so that's that's what i said it will grow dynamically as elements are inserted so size is absolute uh, it is uh, it's up to you if you are aware how many elements are going to be inserted you can give the space otherwise leave it blank okay i hope you are following now we come on, come down to the ppt now here uh, i have a small question for you people how many ways can we initiate collections just now we have seen uh, there are multiple ways to initiate collections so can you recollect okay you can take a pause here and recollect the video and give the answer so answer for this question is three ways in three ways we have seen empty first one and we are not specifying any size second one we are specifying the size and third one we are passing some other collection object to it okay so there are all three ways to do this moving ahead in array list we have variety of methods these are few methods inside array list so i can, we have already seen add method so add is going to add a particular element into my array list so these methods are required to insert delete update all uh, values into my array list okay now add add range add method add single element this we have already seen how many uh, how we can add an element okay insert inserts an element remove all sort sorts the array list reverse reverse the content of array list so the the name itself uh, reveals what that method is going to do let us check this sort method i l apply how to apply it object dot sort al dot sort 
Let us check whether it will sort the array list. So 10, 15, 20. Before this, we were getting 10, 20, 15. Now I am getting 10, 15, and 20. This is how it is changing. So this is how we can use the methods of array list. We have a variety of other methods. AL dot copy to. Copy to will copy the content of one array list to another array list. So AL dot, we have many more methods like we can put a dot and you will be listed all the methods here. So equals is there, get range, get type, insert. If you want to insert at a particular pos position, you can do it with insert. Remove at, remove, you want to remove a element. Let, let's say I want to remove 15. AL dot remove 15. Now let us check the output. So 1020 is the only uh, value which we are getting. Okay. So I hope you understood array list. So these are some of the references which I have referred. You can follow them. Okay. Thank you.